Taylor, I don't think you could have been more ripped for New Moon. I mean, you, you seriously needed some needle and thread. Uh, what was your workout routine and your diet? How did that change? How long did it take you to get into that type of shape? Um, it took overall just about a year. Um, as soon as we finished filming Twilight, I knew what I had ahead of me, so uh, I got started right away. And overall, it was it was about a year. And how about diet? Diet, just eating a lot. And I mean, it's not a lot of ice cream, not a lot of simple sugars, um, a lot of protein, a lot of carbs, um, and frequently, like every two hours, putting something in my mouth. It wasn't it wasn't the funnest thing. Uh, your character Jacob and the character of Bella go through quite a transformation mm -hmm. in New Moon. What do you see as the arc of these two characters? I mean, deep down, Jacob and Bella are best friends, so it was extremely important to make that side come across, um, to continue what we started in Twilight for the first half of the movie, but as soon as I transform um, and start dealing with my inner issues, uh, I become a totally different person, so that makes our relationship change quite a bit. And there was that very distinct moment in the movie where you do become the werewolf. Was it difficult for you during the filming, because I know you film out of sequence, Right. was it difficult for you to remember when you weren't the werewolf, when you were aware of the werewolf while you were shooting? Um, it, what made it not difficult is when I was, when, post-transformation, I had my, my normal hair. <laughs> Pre-transformation, I had to put on a wig in the morning. So that let me know what work we're doing for the day. But it, it, it was hard. Some days I would actually film pre-transformation and post in the same day. So I would, for, during the morning, I'd, I'd be filming pre-transformation. I just got to be this super happy, friendly guy. And then, um, and then after lunch, I got to become a totally different person. It's like a split personality. Any sort of exercises that you would do or anything like that mentally to make that transformation? It's just the best source um, for us, for all of us, is the book. Um, so the night before you film a scene, the best thing you can do is read that scene in the book because obviously the book's a lot more detailed and the script is basically an outline of it. Um, so that's the best thing to get you in character. And just talk about it with our amazing director, Chris Weitz, and uh, with Kristen or, or Rob. Now this movie has a lot of action in it, a lot of physicality. Uh, was it difficult for you to do those stunts? It was fun. I mean, some of them were challenging. I'd never ridden a dirt bike before, so I had to do training for that, and it ended up being in the film for about five seconds. Um, but I had to look cool for those five seconds. <laughs> um, and yeah, I mean, I, I had a lot of cool stuff. S a lot of the cool stuff was me uh, when I was a wolf, so that was disappointing, but the wolves looked great. Yeah, tell us about the CGI. There was a lot of that as well. The, the wolves were humongous. They weren't just right. normal They're like wolves. the size of horses. How did you feel seeing that stuff? It, it was amazing. It's so cool to see, because on the day, like that, that famous trailer shot where I'm running across the field and I jump up in the air and transform into a wolf. On the day, I'm just running and then I'm hooked up to wires. I jump into the air, they jolt me to a stop and I have to freeze so they can take my body and convert it into the wolf. So just to see that on the screen and how smooth and cool it looks, uh, it was mind blowing. Any of that uh, scary at all for you being up there on those wires? No, I trust them. They, they've done it before, so I, I did trust them. <laughs> All right, well, tell, tell us a little bit about how your personal life has changed, because the popularity of these movies has made you much larger in the public eye. How right. has your life changed because of that? Um, <laughs> it's different. <laughs> it is. Uh, you you got to choose wisely where you go and hang out. Malls, movie theaters, not the best choices. Um, but yeah, I mean, you try and maintain what you had before, and you try and not let the outside stuff get to you too much, or you'll literally go crazy. How do you do that? How do you stay grounded? Um, hang out and spend time with people you did before. Stay close to your family and friends. Um, yeah, I'd say that's the best thing. And how has your family reacted to this uh, explosion of fame? Really good. Really good. I mean, we have the same relationships, and I'm extremely um, happy to have a supportive family behind me. I wouldn't have been able to do it by myself.